Yo, what up, peeps? Um, yeah, I well, have been kind of absent doing YouTube stuff, and all I'm gonna say is personal stuff. You know, you know the typical jargon. Oh, but um, yeah. But I have kind of an update of sorts. Um, okay, a few things. One, in about a few months, I'm going to be traveling across country, mainly to get help with scripting, because I've been kind of at a, at a standstill for a while when it comes to scripting my game, and, well, it's just say it sucks going nowhere fast when it comes to that. But, yeah. Also, the move to Japan is still on, however, and I mean... How and ever. I am going to be setting up a, a bit of a cafe there. Initially, my plans were make a ramen shop and sell coffee within it. But, yeah. After some <clears throat> criticism, I guess, my plans have shifted from being a ramen shop that sells coffee to a cafe. It, it works kind of better than having a ramen shop that sells coffee. Especially if I want to pair up that coffee with curry. So, that... Well, that. But, I will say right here, what's kind of slowed me down on uh, making videos other than uh, YouTube shorts was a lack of a proper camera. I couldn't exactly use my VTuber model. Oh. VTube in general. <laughs> but I do have a better camera now. Well, better than what I had before. It's the Elgato face cam, which, not paying attention, I thought I grabbed the 4K one, but eh, 1080p. It's still pretty good. <laughs> it's a fantastic camera, and it seems to be tracking pretty well, actually. Better than the last webcam I had, which I got from LameStop. <laughs> Uh, anyway, back on topic. Um, with the uh, cafe and such like that, I, mm, before the move, I'm probably going to reach out to Jeremy Himbling, aka The Quartering, and see if I can have him as a supplier, like, sell my coffee at his cafe, what's that, sell his coffee at my cafe. He might agree to it, he may not, but... I'll never know unless I actually, you know, like, reach out and talk to him about it. I think he may be open to the idea, question mark. I'm not going to hold my breath, but if I can sell his coffee in my cafe, then awesome! We both would profit in the end. Like, I would get a ton of coffee cases from him, and I would serve it to my customers, and at all, hunky dory, yay! <laughs> also, in addition to Legend of a Sandwich Man, I do plan on making another game. Plans might change, so I'm going to keep it under wraps, at least for now. But, just know it will be turn-based. That's right. Turn-based RPG. And it's going to have... Puzzle elements as well. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, it's an RPG. <laughs> but the focus is going to be more on puzzle. But it's going to have some turn-based combat to it. So, look forward to it. <laughs> I still can't wait to make that one. And yes, rare enemies are going to be a thing. That's going to be a staple between any and all Moon Enigma titles. Rare enemies. I might have some crafting involved. I might not. I don't know. I'll figure that out as development actually starts for that game. But there is a few Moon Enigma projects that will be under underway. Anyway, thank you for watching this update. And I will see you at a later time.
I don't know exactly when because, well, life is getting in the way. <laughs> uh, got some Japanese lessons to attend uh, to. Plus, there's my girlfriend. <laughs> and on top of that, I've got some other preparations I need to make as well. I mean, i got to learn some recipes if I'm going to get in the food industry. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys later. God fucking speed.